Hi Angus, this is a demo video on how the WHMCS VPN module works. So the first thing we're gonna log in to uh, our WHMCS admin area and add a VPN from there. Sorry, add a VPN server from there. Okay, here I'm logged in. As you can see, we go to set up product services then servers I've already added a server called it US one VPN server so but sorry sorry about that so let's add a new one in US two Then you would select the module called custom VPN. Then you would input your username and password for that server, the SSH username and password. Then click on save changes. As you can see now we have two passwords, US1 VPN server and US2 VPN server. Now we'll go and create a new product. Go set up product services, product services. I have created already a basic VPN plan. So let's create a new product. Hosting account, product group VPN accounts. Okay, let's say medium VPN plan. That would re reside maybe on a different uh, server with better performance and uh, more bandwidth. Okay. So here I would go to the module settings, check the custom, sorry, the custom VPN module. Server group, I will select a server group, US based servers. Uh, package type, low, medium, high. Uh, actually the medium and high were specific requirements for the client that you could change yourself. For now let's stick for low. Uh, VPN accounts to 100 number of accounts per server that will help us limit the number of accounts per server if we need to then we will click save changes ok now let's go and place a new order let's choose a medium VPN plan uh, okay. Okay, order has been submitted. Now, let me take you to the server and see the accounts that are already there. This is a regular PPP server uh, which uses the PPTPD uh, Linux uh, VPN server package so what our module is doing is just manipulating the users and passwords files it's adding users and removing them As you can see in our uh, uh, file, we have only uh, two users, Samer and Samer1. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do now is go inside WHMCS and then create the account. So here we have uh, the module commands as you can see, create, suspend, unsuspend, terminate, change package. Let's click create. It says service created successfully. And you can see the username and the password here that were generated. Let's go to our ser server, run the same command again. You can see the new username and password here. Let's say we want to suspend the account. We click suspend. Okay. Then 
you could see the username is commented out inside the file here you see the hash in front of the username so uh, the user cannot log in anymore at this stage uh, then let's say you wanted to unsuspend it then we run the command again then the user is no longer suspended as you can see let's say we wanted to terminate the user we click terminate here then if we run the command again the user no longer exists in the file as you can see so that's basically how the module works uh, there are functionality inside the client area to uh, uh, manage passwords but uh, this was written for a, an earlier version of WHMCS 5.0.5 I think so uh, actually it needs some small changes here and there but I'm sure it can uh, uh, pretty much work as it has gone through lots of uh, thorough testing so I hope this helps uh, any other questions let me know